27th annual Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show that's held the second Saturday in July each year in this iconic western town. You must put it on your bucket list. See you there.
everybody to the Cherrywood Challenge. This year's challenge is Princess Diana. It's a series of Princess Diana is here with us and uh, she will be greeting all of our guests and, and having photo ops with them and we're just going to have a great day. Uh, the Cherrywood Challenge is in its sixth year. We've had um, Lion King, Van Gogh, Prince, uh, Bob Ross, and now the Diana. Next year it's going to be graffiti with bright uh, street colors. Um, this, we have in this show 150 quilts out of the 200 that were selected to travel. They travel for a year, they go to most of the major shows, and we have uh, good fortune of getting them here in July so that all of our folks can see them. Uh, there were 400 quilts entered, 200 selected. They travel in three different packages of 100, 200, uh, 150, and 50 and they go to most of the major quilt shows and most of the major quilt exhibits around the, the U.S. and one group goes internationally to Europe and France and England this year. So.
guess who I ran into? One of my favorite cross-stitch quilter people from Ohio. And <laughs> Chris Yo from As the Yo Flies. <laughs> and has an Etsy shop, which I contribute to regularly. That's called? As the Yo Flies Etsy shop. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> and then you'll see her quilt. Uh, she hung here in the quilt show. It has a bucket list. And G and I are number one <laughs> on the bucket sure list. <laughs> We're here at the 47th Outdoor right Sisters Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show, and I am pleased to be with the featured quilter, Jackie Erickson, Hi. who actually taught one of the Fabric Stalker's favorite class. The what is it called? Log jam. Log jam. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, the, log the, jam. Log jam. So Jackie, how long have you been quilting? Uh, I have been quilting since senior in high school, 78, so you figure out the years. 1978 was my first quilt. How old were you? 17. 17. Yes, 17. And, and it is a fugly quilt. And I almost had it with me here today, but I totally forgot it. It's over at the store. Oh, you, you, you had to have had your first quilt here. Well, I thought about it, and I meant to bring it, but I forgot. You know, whatever. If yeah. you want, we can always take a picture right. of it later. Now, the thing I'm... I know from experience, having been a customer at the shop, is that you always are on the cutting edge of every new tool that comes in. I try to be. Yeah. If it's something that I like, I really yeah. push it. If it's because something... this year I've already bought two. What'd you buy? You know, that rolling Oh uh, yeah, the mat spinny mat. Mm -hmm. and, and the rotary cutter cutting. Oh yes, yes, yes those are both two so good tools. So how many quilts do you have in here today? I believe there's 17 here. Then I have one at the teacher tent, and I have one um, challenge, employee challenge. And then there's a bunch of them hanging in the store. Yes. So 19 it's, it's, In the last four months, how many quilts have you made? Um, okay, let's say since January 1st, because okay. we're going to go off that. I yeah. am now up to 34. 34, 34 since January 1st. If you follow her on Instagram, you have to have a strong self worth <laughs> because she's creating a quilt at a blink of eye every every other minute there's like a new, new yeah and my instagram is jackie 549 j-a-c-k-i-e 549 and i'm really trying to get followers so follow me <laughs> oh and we will we shall put it in the drop down box Perfect. so that they have a link um 
when you look at the quilts, and, and G's going to walk around and take some pictures of the quilts, you will see that there's not a one It's very genre. eclectic group. It's very eclectic. Yeah, because, okay, most of my quilts come from uh, patterns that I've written for the store, samples that I've done for the store, or classes that I've taught. So, and they're all pretty simple. Probably the most difficult is the cat quilt. And that was a club for years. It's a quilt that was written in 1998, so it's been out there for a while, but it's still available. And yeah, so it's a very eclectic group. I do like vintage reproduction fabrics. You'll see a few of those. I really like tulip pink fabrics. You'll see a few of those. Well, you see a little bit of everything. And this year, the log cabin quilt that got finished out of my sewing room this year was actually a bundle that I couldn't unwrap. That oh, you put so together. you did the vintage log cabin? Yes, yes. Yeah, this year, and I couldn't unwrap it for the longest time because everything's packaged it, it, the stitching post. Everything is packaged so that it could be a display all by itself, yes. practically. Yes. I mean, that's your thing. Yep, think, absolutely. Is, is I do the kits at the stitching post. I do pre-cuts. So how so. many kits have you cut for show, for this show this year? You know, for I don't know, uh, because we didn't really do it that way. As the fabric comes in, we cut the kit, put it out for sale, and if it sells, it's not available for show. And there's a, so many of them sold. We probably only have another eight or nine different ones right now available. Yeah, no carpal tunnel. No, because I make sure that I uh, control how much cutting I do. Uh -huh. uh, bend down that road. Don't yeah. want to go there again. So, um, now that we are here at the show, tomorrow, what's your plan? Well, I wasn't going to do anything because my daughter's visiting from Indiana, but they asked me to work, so I'm going to go into the show uh, oh. shop tomorrow morning, work for a few hours, cut. Then I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to have breakfast first because then you can head over the mountain. I'm going to come work for a few hours and then nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Well, I have to tell you because I did uh, three days of sit and stitch at Quilter's Affair and the highlight of my sit and stitch was uh, Fred and Julia. I saw they got their quilt top done. They got their quilt done and they absolutely love it. They absolutely love it. And that started on Monday, right? Yes. You had them in a class on Monday. I had them on Monday and then they had another class so they must have done sit and stitch three days. Yeah and boy they powered through it. Yep. Uh, they were the highlight of my my quilters affair just having them together there Good. And, and so much love and stuff but oh yeah. Okay so if you want to take a class you cannot go wrong with Jackie Erickson, especially the log class, because that was the most fun for my quilt group. Do you still the log pack, jam? Class. Yeah, log yes. jam. Do you still package the fabrics? For that? Yes, we do. Uh, we end up with a lot of strip scraps in the store, so we put them in bags. I think they're a, basically a gallon. We can get about three yards of strips in there, and then you can buy them. They're ten dollars, and it's all ready to just start doing a log jam. But I believe they've all sold because of a quilt show, but we'll keep. But next keep year, going. when you sign up for that class, you can, are you going to teach it hopefully next year? I don't know. What am I going to do? I have no idea what's going to happen oh, next well, year. Well, if she teaches it next year, you're going to want to do it because it makes you step outside your box to buy a, a, a bag full of scraps of fabrics that you maybe wouldn't normally buy. Very true. Yeah. Because I did the solids the year, I, and I had never done a quilt with solids. And well, you'll have to get a picture of the modern solid one over there, because the only way I could get people like Anna to actually get the solid strips uh -oh. was to make a sample. Yeah. And then I didn't have enough. Then they were gone. So. Okay. Well, thank you, Jackie, for taking a moment. Yeah, so now nice to meet you. Go, we're going to go we'll around take and take those. And it's nice to meet you. I've never met you. So, hey. <laughs> Thank you.
it's a wrap for the 47th annual Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show. And it was spectacular. Uh, kind of like a combination of things that have to happen to make it great. And number one is the weather. And the weather really was wonderful. Like in the 80, 80 to 82 range, it was like warm. A little breeze came up in the afternoon. Um, it was different this year in terms of where the quilts were hung. And so as you will see in the video, not every quilt got on our video because it was difficult to get shots of the quilt that were hanging on Cascade. Um, normally that highway is closed, but this year that wasn't an option. And so dodging cars and people, but let me tell you, people showed up. So you will see a lot of people enjoying the show and um, we both enjoyed it very much, seeing old friends and new friends. I hope in the quilts that we captured that you got to see yours if you sent one in, but know that all the quilts were being enjoyed by everyone who was here. Um, in a Later video will have a synopsis of my week at the Quilters Affair and every day was a different day and so that will be in a separate video but we really wanted you to enjoy the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show video so come along with us. Mm -hmm.